You know, being in the news industry, I can't tell you how many times people have told me to go to hell, Max. Just go to hell. So for this next story, I decided to finally listen to him. So here we are in hell, Michigan. You know, I was expecting hell to be a little bit hotter based on all the stories I had heard. But really, the only thing on fire in this little town were the hilarious puns, including the one right above my head when I first arrived. Standing under the gates of hell with the owner of this wonderful community, John Cologne. John, I, I'm so happy to finally be here because you guys have such a following. Uh, more people have told you to go to our town than anywhere else on earth. There we go, yeah, they say it in such a passionate way. Yes. And I can see why now. This little town located in Livingston County doesn't really have much. There's an uptown, a midtown, and a downtown. It shares a zip code with Pinckney, and it has an unofficial population of 72. But really, it has just about everything you need. We got the Hell Hole Bar. Okay. We have screams, ice cream, and crematory mm -hmm. here. And then down there, we have the Hell Saloon. It's kind of made up of hellions, hellbillies, and wannabes. Mm -hmm. But it's just tried to make a big difference in making it a very funny community. The town's quirky character can be traced all the way back to its creation. It's still a hot debate on how the name Hell came to be, but John says it goes a little something like this. The great legend takes us to 1838, when a man named George Reeves and his family purchased a sawmill on what's now known as Hell Creek. And a lot of times horses would come home without riders, wagons without drivers, and somebody would ask the wife, you know, where the hell's your husband? And the reply was always gone to hell. What started as a joke became a reality on October 13th, 1841. When the state came by and asked George what he was going to name his town, he said, call a hell for all I care, everybody else does, and it stuck. And that name is part of the reason John fell in love with the town as a kid from Pinckney. Well, among other reasons. At 16, I could come here and buy my Boone's Farm wine and I worked at the state concession stand at Silver Lake and Half Moon, and I would sell Boone's Farm snow cones to other kids under age. Mm. I could make almost five bucks on a mm. 79 cent. No wonder you five, ended up so. in hell. <laughs> but at that time, hell looked a lot different. He says you couldn't even open a window in the summer. It was just always so hot. People were screaming. Sound familiar? Well, John saw something other people didn't. And 22 years ago, he bought it. The sheriff called me and just said, there's a problem. John, are you crazy? All the fights were down at the bar all the time. And I just kept saying, you know, I think we can change. I can change it. And, and that he did. With a name like Hell, John knew that he had no choice but to embrace the brand. So every gag and pun you can think of, he hasn't. We can't get his, the historical markers so we have hysterical markers, <laughs> and a few of the folks laugh their butts off. And there you can they see are. that right there. Very the simple. It's a Hellmark card, because we don't always send the very best. <laughs> they just keep getting better. You can also own a piece of hell. They sell land by the square inch. And if you don't want to purchase any property, you can just be in charge of it all instead. For just a hundred bucks, you could be the town's mayor for a day like this woman did when we were there. Okay, and you are Amber. who? I'm Amber. Amber, well, well, yes. okay, welcome to hell and Thank everything. You. I just really appreciate the day off to give me some time. I had to come in with these guys for a little bit, but. Okay, so hell might be a little bit funny, but it certainly isn't romantic, right? Wrong. More than 172 couples got married there last year alone. Hell's Chapel stands today as a reminder to all even in hell, love and happiness can grow. After all, a marriage that starts in hell has nowhere to go but up. I guess hell really can be your happy place. But the biggest celebration of all came back on June 6, 2006. Yeah, that's 666. Fox 17 even sent a crew to preview that big party they had. We didn't realize that it was going to be so popular. It was a day John really wasn't prepared for that. 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm calling for port jobs and stuff. I mean, we had uh, people from China. We had six people all came together from Mexico. I did interviews with Israel, South Africa, all over the world. 12,000 people took over this tiny town, and as a result, John was fined 250 bucks 
He also had to issue an apology. Do you remember what you said? Yes, I do. What I apologize to the waiters and waitresses for not doing, knowing what to do with all the extra tips. Yeah. I apologize to four restaurants who had to close by noon because of uh, they ran out of food. I apologize to the gas station in Pinckney for running out of gas. And I said, I will not apologize to this board. <laughs> and uh, they slammed it down. They fined me $250. And Probably the easiest $250 you've ever spent in your life. I had it all made into pennies on rolled and hand in my bag. You belong in hell, for real. I guess it's a small price to pay for the town of hell to feel like a little slice of heaven. Well, John, in just really hey. a matter of minutes, we're back to where we started. We get a whole tour of hell, Michigan. It's a hell of a time. Right. Get all the, the hell puns what out the there. What the hell did you expect? Yeah. This is, it wasn't cool. It was awesome. It was hot. hot. It was fantastic. It was hot. Yes. And in order to cement this moment all right. in hell history, okay. we're going to take a picture together, all right? All right. Say hell, Michigan. Three, hell. two, one. Hell, Michigan. Well, we got the picture, which is great. And John has been kind enough to give us this exit visa, which ensures us a safe passage out of this area. And I tell you what, I'm very thankful for that because this whole experience has been nothing but pure hell.